So today we are on the hunt for my absolute favorite species of Bornean animal and probably my favorite species of animal in the entire world. We are looking for the Bornean orangutan, which is an endangered great ape and the only great ape in Asia. They are endemic to Borneo and Sumatra, well orangutans in general, Bornean orangutans are endemic to Borneo. And that's the species we're looking for today, Pongo pygmaeus. Uh, subspecies, I believe, is Morio. We are hoping, fingers crossed, we find some. We're in uh, the Sepalok Orangutan Rehabilitation Center, um, and there's actually a reserve uh, here as well that has wild orangutans. So hopefully we can find some, because that would be ridiculously awesome. Okay. All right, so we have actually found some juvenile orangutans. Super, super cool. So orangutans are actually the third largest species of ape, second to both species of gorilla. Uh, the Bornean orangutan in particular, it gets a little bit bigger than its less quantitative cousin, the Sumatran orangutan. Now Bornean orangutans are incredibly endangered. There are just over 50,000 individuals alive in Borneo. Uh, the Sumatran orangutans are actually even more so endangered, with just over 15,000 individuals left in the wild. Uh, it is very, very disheartening to see the amount of deforestation and palm plantations in this country. Just 20 kilometers out from this little patch of jungle, you could see nothing but cleared land for palm oil. Orangutans share 97% of their DNA with us. 97% uh, of that DNA is identical to our own. The other 3% obviously causes some vastly different morphological differences. Um, orangutans also are the most intelligent species of great ape, the most intelligent species of animal second to people, second to ourselves. So that is just wild. I can see that they're actually climbing over here as well. Now I'm in a rehabilitation center, which means a, a lot of these orangutans, uh, if they don't already live here, have actually been introduced because they were displaced by deforestation. Um, now deforestation accounts for the majority of habitat loss and fragmentation of populations in um, orangutans. Okay. Now, although these animals are skilled arboreal acrobats, they still oftentimes misjudge their own abilities. Take a look at this juvenile orangutan. He's kind of fumbling around in these smaller branches. He's eyeing us. He sees my spotting scope on the boardwalk. He thinks he's going to have a little playtime. So he's just going to saunter over. He's eyeing the rung of the boardwalk and boom, falls right over. He says, you didn't see that? You didn't see any of that. Luckily, one of the volunteers helped move my spotting scope. <laughs> he looks a little embarrassed, poor guy. Orangutans are second in intelligence to humans and also second in the amount of time that they actually stay with their offspring. So it's not at all uncommon to see a mother orangutan uh, with one or even two offspring uh, that actually hang around for sometimes up to 70 years with her. And this is because orangutans feed on over 300 species of plants. And a lot of plants here are poisonous in an adaptation to keep themselves from being eaten. And a baby orangutan actually has to memorize the plants that are safe to eat, not only that, but where those trees are in the rainforest. <laughs> <laughs> Orangutans are actually the largest arboreal animal, which means they hold the record for being the fattest chunks up in the treetops. Oh, the guys are up here. They found a macaque. There's a few macaques out here. One of them tried to steal Gage's hat. He was not too thrilled about that. 
one that grabbed my hat started off that way. <laughs> the one that grabbed your hat. He's gonna steal your camera. Probably will. Um. It's like a brain blast. Or what is it? Yeah, brain blast from Jimmy Neutron. Where he goes, dun, 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 Jimmy Neutron. Jimmy Neutron. That was a good show. Why did they cancel that? Animation was kind of weird. But other than that, great. Like, um, do you know that Borny and Orangutans are the only species of ape that's not genetically disposed to being knuckle walking and ball their hands into a fist to walk. Also, I like llamas and I have asthma. Carl Weezer. <laughs> so instead of balling their fingers up like this to actually bear their weight, they'll actually just do a fist uh, to actually walk, which is very, very interesting because all other species of great apes, gorillas, chimpanzees, and bonobos, all walk on their knuckles. Um, this is also because Bornean orangutans, and orangutans in general, have very long fingers. This is because they are fully arboreal. No other species of great ape is fully arboreal. So it really helps to have much longer fingers and a much wider um, arm span to aid in life in the trees. So the word orangutan orangutan actually means man of the forest and that's because these creatures are exactly like animal people <laughs> they are so intelligent they have such wisdom <laughs> in their eyes really it's very eerie to see in an animal um, they just look at you and they see you and you see them and they know that, that that's how it goes. It's just very, very interesting. Beautiful, beautiful apes. I'm so excited I got to see some. All right, so we had a good day seeing orangutans and some of the more beautiful lowland forest here in Borneo. Really, really cool, really pretty. No doubt, I will be back again before it is vastly different. Borneo's rainforest is some of the most ancient forests on the planet, if not the most ancient. Some of these trees are thousands of years old. This ecosystem has animals that you can see represented in other continents. It is very... Some weird bird sounds over there. It is very, very beautiful, very cool, very different, and very primitive. And it would be an absolute shame, really, if we lost this. For what? For Girl Scout cookies, peanut butter, and shampoo. And wooden cabinetry. It'd be the dumbest thing to lose the only inhabitable areas for orangutans the second most intelligent beings on Earth. That's just rude to, to cut all that down and to just, I just don't get it. I, it's whatever, it's not whatever, but we need to do better, honestly. I'm sad that this episode is kind of a Debbie Downer, but it needs to be said. We need to get our act together because at the rate that we are chopping down these beautiful forests. We won't have any of this by the time our children are around. Mom, Dad, what were orangutans like? I don't know, I, I, I never really saw them out in the wild. I never really paid attention to them, but I bought peanut butter and Girl Scout cookies until they all died. <laughs> Great, fantastic. Stop. Please, somebody do something about the amount of palm oil that we're taking out of this country. Uh, okay, whatever. All right, cool. Orangutans, check. Done. Check, green light. Woohoo. Yes, yay, awesome. 
I almost cried, but I didn't. Cool. He did. I did not cry. I just got really excited. I almost hyperventilated. <laughs> okay, anyway, bye.